This is the Python implementation of an A puzzle solver based using A star search based on four different heuristics. Those heuristics are the number of displaced tiles, the Manhattan distance um, from each tile to its goal state location, the combination of the displaced number of displaced tiles and the Manhattan distance, and the fourth is a uh, Manhattan distance from row one or row two to their uh, correct tiles location uh, randomly selected. The input files uh, is uh, three sets of five puzzles. The first set of five requires five moves to solve. The second set of five require 10 moves to solve. And the third set of five requires 15 moves to solve. Uh, this is driven primarily by the main function here called 8PuzzleSolver. Um, the main function reads in each line or uh, in initial conditions called the game. Uh, they are, their goal, the goal state is generated here using the spiralize function, which basically just gets it into uh, a spiral around the, uh, for each digit. Um, the out file heuristic is are the output files for each of the heuristics. This will contain each of the solved puzzles as well as some other information about them. Search is our main search class. Um, we'll take a deeper look at that in a moment. There are we have four heuristics and then we have a branching factor variable which will contain the branching factor for each uh, heuristic when they are completed. Um, so the main function loops through for each heuristic and it solves each game from the input file <clears throat> and uh, for each game it does an input validity check to make sure that it um, uh, is in fact a valid game. It We will reset the search class variables each time uh, before starting and then finally the uh, within each loop we will search and pro this process function is uh, the main loop within search uh, to find the goal state from the initial conditions. Uh, this will output um, at the very end the average branching factor. It'll append it for each game uh, that is solved. And once all games are completed, the branching factors from all games uh, from the each of the three game sets, 5, 10, and 15, and for each heuristic, 1 through 4, are output in a table. Uh, we'll begin the run. So here's the desired output state uh, in the spiral formation. We will see that the output files are beginning to be populated. So this is for the first heuristic, the second heuristic, the third heuristic, and finally the fourth heuristic. We can see games problem one of set one with the five uh, moves to stall, solve. And each uh, game contains the initial conditions the first node with the action, the depth value, um, the heuristic value, and the iteration expanded. Um, and as we progress further down into the more challenging games, this is set three requiring 15 moves. You can see also the branching factor is also present. So uh, at once all games are solved, we see for each heuristic the branching factor uh, for the 5, 10, and 15 step problems. So moving into now, the search class, the process function we'll see is the main driver uh, of the search process. The search itself contains um, the initial condition for the game. Uh, this is the game number. Uh, the self, this open list will uh, contain all open nodes that which can still be explored. Sorted list is used at the end for the uh, solution. Uh, closed list contains each of the closed, the previously expanded uh, nodes. And moving on, append new nodes. This will check if any, uh, if the nodes that we intend to expand have previously been um, uh, placed onto either the open or closed list, in which case we do not want to expand them again. They've already been added to the list or previously expanded. Get solution will trace 
through the solution path from the end the goal when the goal state node is reached and trace through each of the parents of the preceding nodes to the initial condition the initial state uh, and output each of those nodes so that we can eventually output the uh, uh, in pertinent information for those nodes. The create out file initializes that, these output files and then finally print simple output will generate the output files that we saw previously with each of the nodes the, which, with its state, action, up, down, left, right, down, up, down, left, right, uh, depth value, G, H value, and then which iteration it's expanded on and the branching factor at the very end. Finally, process is the function, as I mentioned previously, which iterates through um, for the node and will loop through until the solution is reached. So uh, the start function will start uh, is the initial node based on the starting uh, the initial state. We're going to add that to the start of the open list. That'll be the first node we explore. So that'll be added to cur, which is basically the current node we're um, exploring. We check if, uh, before expanding, we check if the uh, node is equal to the goal state. If it is, then we've reached our solution, and we find our solution, and we add the uh, current node to the closed list. Finally, uh, once, or actually, once the, uh, if we are not at the goal state, we need to expand our new nodes. nodes. So we're going to uh, call the expand function with it, which is a method within node, and we'll do that in a moment. Um, once that node is expanded, we can add it to the closed list and pop it off of the open queue. And now this, as we looked, saw above, append new nodes will append only those non-repeated nodes. Finally, uh, to the this will append it to the open list. And finally, we'll sort the open list based on each heuristic. Um, First one is the displaced nodes, number of displaced nodes, the Manhattan distance is the second one, the combination of uh, Manhattan and displaced is the third one, and that randomized heuristic is the fourth. Um, and once a solution is reached, that's when we print this output file, and also we are going to return the branching factor to the main function for that table. And finally, on to the node function, or the node class. So the node class contains the state of the node, so the current positions of each element, each value, uh, the parent of the, the node, um, <clears throat> the in initial node uh, just has zeros, the displaced, uh, each heuristic, so the displaced heuristic, Manhattan heuristic, the Manhattan displaced combination heuristic, and the randomized heuristic, which we'll see how that's calculated in a moment. G value, which is similar to the depth, um, the current depth of the node, the children of this, the current node, as when they are expanded, um, which iteration we are on, and the action, uh, which is up, um, left, right, and down. So the self dot size contains what the size of the uh, the node. So whether that's um, uh, so we can move either up or down uh, three um, moves for the eight puzzle solver. Let's see. Next, the equal state checks if two states um, are equal. So this is used in comparison, comparing two nodes uh, the, to the, either the goal state or for between two nodes themselves to see if it, we should add to the open list. Expand will will uh, expand a current a node um, based on the available moves. This check valid moves. It'll generate the new child which will go through and populate the heuristic values and append that to this node's current children list of children It'll also return those children to be uh, added to the, ex the open list let's check valid move again checks if we are on the edge of the um, the puzzle we can't move outside of the puzzle bounds and finally generate child as mentioned will initialize the node and then move the uh, blank tile in the appropriate direction um, and calculate each of the heuristics for that child node. And now for each of the heuristics, so the displaced uh, the calculate the displaced heuristic is just the number of um, nodes or the number of elements that are out of position 
Manhattan is the uh, element, the value to its uh, goal state value, the uh, Manhattan distance, the block, the city block distance. The Manhattan displaced is the uh, combination heuristic between the Manhattan and displaced, so it adds those two together. And then finally, this randomized heuristic, it will uh, calculate the um, the heuristic uh, for either the first or the second, or for both the first and the second um, rows, the Manhattan distance for the current uh, values in those blocks. And then it'll randomly select um, uniform on a uniform distribution whether to choose the heuristic from the first row or the second row and return that. And finally are all the getters and setters for each of the values within the node state. So uh, that is the conclusion of the search uh, algorithm, A star search, and Python uh, using the four different heuristics. Thank you.